Well, this autumn he'll be leading out England in the Four Nations. In less than two weeks' time, he'll be part of the Leeds team at Wembley for the Challenge Cup final. But this morning, Jamie Peacock is in a park in Normanton teaching children how to play rugby league. Satisfying um, running these children's um, summer camps. It's enjoying it. Just it's enjoyable. You've just seen um, how much fun they've been having. And I've got children of my own, and I know it's important for them to be active and get about and do things. And I'm trying to do that this summer. And for those kids who've just been picked up and dumped by the England captain, it means a lot to them. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I, I remember when I was younger and I, I used to go on some rugby camps and used to get to meet the professional players and I'd be talking about it for days. And it's the same with these, you know, they get a chance to meet myself and some of the other stars of Super League. And what we've done is taken it to places that don't necessarily have access to Super League clubs. We've been in, um, we're going to Oldham, we're in Normanton now, we've been in York. So they're all places which don't have um, access, um, a Super League club right on the doorstep. Who else is involved? Um, you talk about, so you mentioned Adrian Morley, but tell us the other people you've got roped into it. There's a few, um, obviously there's Adrian Morley and Gareth Carvel from Warrington. Um, there's a few Leeds players, Kevin Sinfield, uh, Danny Badiris, Danny Maguire, Rob Burrow, Ben Jones Bishop, Ryan Hall, I've had Jamie Jones there and I've got, um, there's Leon Price is involved. There's a few others as well, Jamie Langley, Andy Lynch, there's quite a few, I've asked, called in quite a few favours, but most... Most of the lads being rugby lads, so you just do it anyway because they, they, they realise the benefit for the sport as well and for the children. Mac was saying what a fantastic win it was uh, for you against Castleford. I think he was thoroughly delighted with the, with, with the level of performance. I suppose you're looking now to ramp that up towards the Challenge Cup final. I think, yeah, the best thing was the attitude of the player, of, of players and ourselves. You know, we know Castleford had a few players out, but we defended really well. We could have slackened off defensively, and we've not. We're building our defence into the big game, which is coming up, which is pleasing for everybody. You get confidence out of your defence in big games. Is there a danger that you take your eye off Harlequins because you've got one eye on, on Wigan at Wembley? No, because people are playing for places, so you know people are desperate to get in the team, and people will continue the good form that we've had recently and the, the good attitude we've had towards playing. I remember last year, it was a really, really sad sight watching you, watching the game from the sidelines, not playing. It was dreadful to see you. Um, you just got to stay fit now, haven't you? Yeah, you have, yeah. You know, I, I'm feeling in a lot better shape than I was this time last year before the injury. I mean, it's probably, you know, the, the, um, the 11 years of consistent football without a real pre-season have taken its toll, but I feel a lot fresher now and uh, looking forward to the Quins and, and then to Wembley the week after as well. What would it mean to you to play at Wembley? For Leeds, I it mean say. a lot. I mean, um, you know, obviously I'm going to go there and win. I, I don't think it's enough to go there and play. You want to go there and win. Um, I know what it's like to lose in a final, and I know what it's like to win. So you definitely want to win one. And um, you know, the ch it's childhood dream to walk out of Wembley for your um, hometown club, and um, hopefully go on and lift the trophy as well. And I think Leeds fans want to see you walk out at Wembley as well this year. Yeah, it's very kind. I hope so. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've got the Quins first, but then you know, my focus will be on Wembley and getting out there and performing as well as possible.